Welcome everybody to part two in our series, an introduction to MVC4 advanced course. In this video, we just, we're just gonna take a quick introduction to MVC. What, it, what is MVC design pattern? We have MVC4, so let me cancel out 4 because 4 is a version number to MVC4 for .NET technology. But the basic concept here is MVC. It's everywhere for all the frameworks, MVC3, MVC4, ESP.NET, MVC5, um, uh, it's the same concept. If you work with PHP, Zendy framework, Symfony framework, any framework, most of the frameworks are using MVC design pattern. Why? Because it's dynamic. It's, it's supported by web technologies. Um, it has a lot of features. It's easy, it's easy, it's much easier to debug. It's much easier to divide the functionalities. It's much easier for conventional development. I mean, if you are familiar with Zendy framework and you want to move on to ASP.NET, it's not that much uh, learning here because it's got just going to be maybe one hour, two hours, you gotta, you, you, you are going to master the skills because they are the same, they are taking the same approach. So what is MVC? MVC is, is, um, is model, a view, and controller. So all the time you will hear this, um, model view controller. So what is model view controller? Uh, basically, you're talking about controller. Controller is the most important thing here. You can you can work without model and without view, but you cannot work without controller because it's basically controller controls everything in and out from the website or from the the web application. So um, let me just um, draw this diagram that's gonna illustrate to you uh, what do we mean by um, uh, MVC. Um, for example, if you got a website like uh, GW, let me say um, Google.com, and just got just gonna get the weather and um, get weather for city London. Okay. So this is the normal thing, normal life, we're just gonna have something similar to this. This is, is the action name or the method name or what you want to get. In MVC, we have something different. We have something similar to this. We, are, we say that, okay, take this action and put something before it. So what I wanna do here, just get this um, URL and say, this is not MVC pattern. I want to convert it into an MVC. So I just gonna add a controller to it. So I just want to put this um, get weather into a new controller called weather. So this is an MVC URL. We got something here called controller. This is known as controller. And we got here an action called get weather inside the controller. Controller can have many actions as you want. So I got this action here. And I got this controller called weather here. So the weather is the controller. Get weather is the action inside the controller. What about the view? What about the model? If you go here, this is known as model. This is known as view. View is basically any HTML page or any uh, thing you want to return to the user, including images, video, CSS, HTML, JavaScript. It's inside the view. So this is what about of it. It's, it's about the visual representation. What you see, what you see is a view. Model is the back end. We're talking about what is um, the database table. 
that's represented. For example, here we're talking about weather, we're talking about city. So it's every city, we're talking about, for example, city, and we're talking about weather for that city. So we have a model for weather and model for city. Okay, so when you call this method get weather, you're gonna call the 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 the, the model of the city. You wanna give the city name, city information, latitude, longitude, stuff like that. You wanna return them to the controller, and after that you wanna get the results and display it back by controller to the view. So the workflow is just like this. You request this request here. We got this request. You send this request into the controller. The controller gonna take this request and pass it to this the specified model inside the action. So I have an action. Action need to get weather for the specified city. So I need to call the model for the city. So I get the model for the city, return it back, get all the information about the city, including city and weather, and return it back to the view. So, how many processes do we have? First, you just need to call the request, specify the control and the action. Next, you call the model, return it back to the controller, and finally, you return the view. So, it's a four step basic flow. So we got four steps. This is basically how MVC gonna work. In MVC4, we have something um, more advanced. We can, we a controller can call another controller. You can you can pass data from one controller to one controller. You can pass data from controller to view and from view to controller. And you can also um, do many things between control and view and view and controller and control another controller. All these techniques we're gonna cover in the next video. We're gonna see how to build an MVC uh, project, how to pass data from one controller to another controller, from one controller to a view using view view pegs, using sessions, using of view data, how to move data from one controller to another controller using team data. All these concepts you gotta be familiar with MVC4. Thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, don't forget to see us in the next part, part three. We're gonna take a quick demo on MVC uh, um, on MVC4. So See you in part four, part three, I'm sorry, <laughs> part three.